a violent weekend in the district. At least 11 shootings. Four people are dead, two of whom are teenagers. A frequent presence on the honor roll at McKinley Tech in Northwest D.C. At graduation June 18th, the audience burst into applause as she accepted her diploma. Her mortarboard carried a quote from the Bible. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. Eighteen-year-old Kendall Myers was a bright, funny, and charismatic young woman, the type of person her peers looked up to, just an overall ray of sunshine and beautiful soul. Her mother described her as outgoing and funny, close to her two older sisters and brothers, and a guardian to her little cousins. Kendall would never leave a family member's presence without saying, love you, be safe. She was a natural-born leader, captain of the varsity cheerleading team, an honors scholar, and recent graduate of McKinley Technology High School's class of 2022. Like most graduating seniors, she was excited about heading to college in the fall. Kendall had her choice of several colleges, and after making four trips to its campus, she picked North Carolina Central University in Durham, North Carolina, where she would be close to relatives. She planned to study sports medicine and become a personal athletic trainer. Just before midnight on June 26, Kendall and some of her friends were outside the park place at Petworth Apartments in the 800 block of Quincy Street Northwest, where a rooftop party was being held. Minutes later, a car drove by and sprayed the area with gunfire. The aftermath of what people in this neighborhood are describing as a gunfight. And then when the shooting stopped, the tragedy was evident. You see the, uh, you know, the body laying there and you know, ambulance services doing the best for, uh, to help that person. and. It's upsetting. An 18-year-old woman died after a multiple shooting on Quincy Street Northwest. That would be among the last of the weekend spate of violence. D.C. Fire and Emergency Medical Services responded to the scene and transported the victims to area hospitals for treatment. After bullets rang out, Kendall and her friend were both shot. Sadly, Kendall was taken to a local hospital where she succumbed to her injuries just 10 days after walking across the stage at her high school graduation. Police said she had been in a rooftop party that had been broken up by an off-duty police officer. As people congregated on the street, police said shots were fired from a vehicle, striking the teen and others. About three hours before this shooting, and less than two miles away, police were called to the 1700 block of 8th Street Northwest, where another teenager was shot and killed. Police have not said whether there may be any connections between the murder of 15-year-old Blue Bryant in the incident that took the life of Kendall Myers. Kendall's mother, family, friends, and school community are all devastated by the loss. In order to get through this loss, her mother says she has chosen to rely heavily on her faith. She received a call about Kendall's passing from one of her friends. Kendall didn't have her ID when she was taken to the hospital, but her mother says she finally located her by describing a tattoo of a butterfly on her left ankle, the same tattoo her mother has on her left shoulder. On the phone, the staff member at Washington Hospital Center told her mother to drive slowly and safely. Having previously worked at the hospital, her mother knew what that phrase meant. She knew her daughter was gone. At the hospital, the staff let her hold Kendall's hand one last time. 18-year-old Kendall Myers was a young woman other young people looked up to, a born leader. She was captain of the cheer squad and a frequent presence on the honor roll at McKinley Tech in Northwest D.C. At graduation June 18th, the audience burst into applause as she accepted her diploma. Her mortarboard carried a quote from the Bible, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. Kendall was a very intelligent, bright, funny, charismatic young lady. Anybody that she came in contact with, she left an, an imprint on them in their life. Saturday night, just before midnight, the 18-year-old and some of her friends were outside the Park Place at Petworth Apartments in the 800 block of Quincy Street Northwest, where a roof party was being held. Minutes later, a car drove by and sprayed the area with gunfire. Windows in the building shattered. The bullets took chunks out of the red brick facade and penetrated the metal door frame of the Dunkin' Donuts next door. Two younger teens were injured. But Kendall Myers, who was supposed to attend North Carolina Central University this fall, did not survive. Her mother, Miosha, says she is surviving the agony of this loss by leaning into her faith. What I'm 
working towards is developing some sense of memorial, some type of memorial that I can always have her close and near me. Because even though she's gone in the flesh, her spirit will always be with me. A GoFundMe was created by her father to help with funeral expenses. The Metropolitan Police Department is currently offering a reward of up to $25,000 to anyone that provides information leading to the arrest or conviction of the person or persons responsible for each homicide.